Welcome back. We're going to look at some new filter capabilities introduced in Zoom Data version 3.7. We'll look at wildcards, we'll look at using multiple filter conditions on the same field, and we will look at one way to use the new keyset functionality, specifically doing a multi-pass type of analysis uh, on the same data set. Okay, so let's get started. What I want to do is I want to filter this dashboard to exclude one of the contributors, and that is Montgomery County itself. So uh, the context here is that the county had introduced a public finance program for political contributions, and they did some matching, and we want to remove that from our analysis. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to add a filter, and I'm going to go into the contributor name, and I'm going to use the new wildcard feature and I'm going to say does not begin with and I am going to paste in Montgomery County. It's going to be case sensitive and I will click apply and it's updating the, uh, the data to show only contributions that came from individual contributors, uh, not any of the uh, public matching con contributions. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to add on to this. So I'm going to add another uh, criteria to the contributor name. This time, let's say that I'm interested in um, only finding those contributors that came from, uh, from incorporated entities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say contains, and I am going to type in a space and INC for incorporated. I put the space there so I don't accidentally come up with, for example, Vincent. Uh, the contains will find the INC embedded within the name Vincent, so I want to avoid that. And I don't know if uh, incorporated will be uh, capitalized or not, so I'm going to deselect case sensitive this time. Now I'm going to click apply and it's updated my dashboard to only show contributions that came from corporations and you can see the capitalization has been uh, selected differently or typed in differently for each of these and we can see where they're coming from. Okay, so let us remove that. Let's move on to key sets. Uh, key sets are actually pretty interesting. They're, they're quite powerful and they allow end users to do some really interesting analysis without having to work with uh, a, a database administrator. And this is a pretty big deal. Um, one thing I want to do just to kind of uh, sort of level set here, there are five winning candidates or elected officials. Four of them are at large and one of them is a district candidate. So just to kind of level the playing field, I'm going to remove the district candidate. So um, let me go in and the receiving committee and I'm going to exclude the district candidate. So I'll say apply. Okay, there we go. Now what I want to do now is I want to find out of all the folks who contributed, uh, local folks who contributed to each of these four elected officials, how many of them are in common? So I want to find the intersection. So the way I do that is with key sets. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a key set based on the values for this bar. So just the local uh, contributors to Gabe Albernoz's um, uh, campaign. So I'm going to create a key set and I'll just type in, I'm just going to use first names because they're easier to type, and the key that I'm going to use is going to be the address. The address is going to be my proxy for a unique identifier. It's all been cleaned up so it's pretty close and I'm going to click Save. So I have a key set for, for Gabe. I'm going to create another key set um, and this time it is for, uh, this is Evan. So this is Evan Glass. And again, I'm going to use the key set of the address. Um, this is going to be Will Jawando. Okay, we're not using them yet. We are just setting up the key sets. We're going to apply them in less than a minute. And then the last one here I happen to know is Hans Reamer. And one more key set to make. There's the unique addresses. Okay, so now I have them all. I'm going to create a dashboard level filter. I'm going to go in and create a filter. Uh, it's going to be on address. I'm going to now be able to use those key sets. I'm going to choose one for Evan Glass. I'm going to apply that and it's going to filter everything across the dashboard to show only his contributors. We're going to build upon that or filter down further. We're going to choose Gabe Albernos, his supporters. Um, same thing. 
choose Hans Reavers. And last, the key set. It's going to be filtered based on Will Jawanda supporters. And now let's see what we got. 20 people contributed to all four of those uh, candidates. So we can take a quick look. Uh, we can see you know, if we can understand anything from these folks. Uh, when you go through, you'll find that some of them are uh, just folks who are very interested in local politics and they're active in their community. Others are uh, um, attorneys who work with the county. And you also see some state elected officials there, too, who are supporting uh, the candidates that they believe in. So that's a quick introduction to using the new filtering capabilities, including using key sets for multi-pass analysis as an end user.